Hey there folks and welcome. This is a big general notice for me as you can see from the drawers behind it. Well, yeah. I'm moving. I'm actually in the middle of moving right now. Um, so my childhood bedroom now looks like this. Bit of an insight to the weird, wacky and wonderful life of me. But yeah, I have not been at my computer for the past few days apart from to go over here to set this up because... Moving a rig, a desk, and a PC is tough. Moving it when you don't have any internet hmm, doesn't necessarily add up. So what I did was I'd come back here and potentially record one or two videos and then go back to where I am now. Which means this is probably the last video that I'm going to record in this room as the way it is right now for now and yeah that's strange yeah I think it's a nice old send-off I might end up recording tomorrow's video here I don't know for sure yet I'll have to wait and see on that one but at the very least, this is the last time you're probably going to see this room in a recorded video. Not the last time that it's going to feature, but at least in this kind of format right now, I'm not living here anymore. Which is strange, it's a room that's been home for me for over 20 years of my life. <laughs> is, um... Yeah, it's actually dawning on me right now. But I want to get through this general notes quite quickly. I haven't actually scripted for today's one because when you don't have internet, you can't do anything that involves the internet. And since I'm not willing to shill out for an office license. Yeah. Let's get into the general notice. And it's quite a fun one this week. So, in terms of videos, I've actually had to change around the schedule a little bit, as you might have seen by the little bits and pieces that we've had over the weekend, the BTC Cadwell video, for example, and the ERC Silesia, which got pushed up because I think it was originally meant to come out today. But, I'm actually wrong about that, because I think what was meant to come out today was a review for NASCAR Talladega. I don't know, I, 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 I've lost track of the days at this point. Tomorrow, hopefully, I'll have a review out for the BTCC finale at Brands Hatch. Before on Thursday, having a preview for Petit Le Mans. Then on Friday, a preview for Wilder Exit China, which is again a week early. I'll probably repost the ERC review uh, preview closer to the time so that you can have a look at that if you really want to. And then Saturday, uh, hopefully, a content review for WRC24, so the EA Sports WRC pack. Then a review for the ERC at Silesia. Or Ride Swans. I think I'm pronouncing that right now. And then the general notice will be on Monday. But yeah, live stream. I'm going to be doing that after this. I'm actually waiting for the content to install. Hopefully it's going to be quicker than the hour that it's estimating. Otherwise I'm not going to get a chance to try it out tonight. I really hope it's going to be quicker than that. But yeah. A Sports WRC24. That will be a lot of fun. But let's get into the articles and let's start off with the WRC. This is one that I was originally planned to cover anyway. It's about Seb Ogier. Seb Ogier has been given a suspended fine of €30,000 by the stewards of Acropolis Rally Greece. Obviously, this is one that um, came up a while ago. Is this, was this genuinely a month ago? It was. Um, for comments about um, the dust. But, yeah. Um, it, it's, the reason why I wanted to look at that was because... It's a little bit of a story that plays along the same vibes of the FIA. Not wanting FIA things to be criticised. But at the same time, I believe the stewards are separate to the FIA and the WRC in a different way to, say, F1. But this 
isn't really something that's new in the world of motorsport. Auger himself has lambasted Pirelli before, and in fact, at one point, I think, defended Pirelli when he had issues because he was like, oh, no, I'm not blaming Pirelli for this one because they've done everything right, and it's the FIA that's to blame. Obviously, as an eight-time world champion, one of the greatest to ever rally in the WRC, he obviously... Um, yeah, has the freedom to speak his mind, or feels that freedom, more so than some of his competitors. But, yeah. Um, 30,000 suspended fines, it's not actually a fine. Better than Max Verstappen being sent on community service for a little protest. But, hey, maybe it's how I've been I am showing his um, rally driver favouritism again. But sticking with the FIA or F1, moreover, and management decisions. F1 originally had this postseason rookie sprint race idea that was going to be, I think, after Abu Dhabi, where it would be like a sprint weekend, a tyre test built in, and yeah, it's been canned for this year with an idea that maybe it'll happen next year instead. Now, I think this idea is good in practice. I was actually listening to um, the race's F1 podcast today that talked about it. But... The, the main thing you need to resolve, and the race's podcast was great about talking about this, is the problem with flow going into F1. I mean, line must go up. Money must continue to go up. Otherwise, teams are like, oh, we're not making as much money. We're going to go elsewhere. And FOM want F1 to be the biggest series. They want it to be the fastest series. They want it to have the most attention. Which is why WEC is looking at an even more dangerous place. Considering how impressive Hypercar is right now. A bit like the World Sports Car Championship. But the thing is, Hypercar was already built to be slower than LMP1. Like, it was a target time that went down from... I mean, I know in practice they're faster than this now. But I think... What was the lap record for Le Mans? Something like a 314. And the target initially was to slow the cars down to a 330, which is almost LMP2 pace. Makes sense, given that basically LMP2s with hybrid bolted on, but even then, it's deliberately slowed down in a way to make F1 the faster series again. I think there's too much money in motorsport now. And especially when you're bowing to the desires of teams where, say, they want this anti-dilution fund, which, yeah, it's, I think it's a bit unfair. Anti-competition stuff, I mean, I was going to, if I had more time, talk about the NASCAR lawsuit, which also goes into antitrust laws in America. But I think I'll save that for another time. It's all funky. It's all really weird. Then, apparently that's a phrase that's used in American politics at the moment. Weird. I don't know. What I do know, though, is that I'm very grateful to anybody who tunes in, shows their support. And, yeah... It's great to see so many people coming in time and again to watch my videos. The WRC one is still performing incredibly well, which I am so impressed with. And hopefully the review for WRC 24 content will also do quite well. But at the end of the day, what, 300 people watched my Chile review in the past week. That's awesome. Thank you, everybody who tunes in and shows their support. I do this fun because I'm like, oh, this is something that I want to talk about. And it gives me a reason, in addition to wanting to watch all of these different racing things, to talk about them in some space. So as always, I'm so grateful. I started in this room nearly ten and a half years ago. My desk was facing the other way. I had a different desk and different bed and that. Yeah. Thanks for watching.
Until next time, it's bye-bye for now.